Good morning, boys and girls. You remember a week or so ago, we had some lima beans that I had soaked in water overnight and then placed in a paper towel and in a Ziploc baggie and hung it in a window. That was an experiment to see if the beans would grow in the paper towel. I waited about a week. I opened it up and took the beans out and this is what they looked like. However, they smelled really stinky. They were not starting to grow. I don't know what went wrong with our experiment. Could have been the beans were too old or possibly they were not getting enough light in the window where I hung them. However, this experiment did not work. So I decided I would share with you the beans from my garden. Before I do that, let's take a look at what plants need to grow. All plants need these things in order to grow. They need air, they need water, that could be in the form of either rain or you can water your garden if you don't get enough rain. They need soil, which our lima beans did not have, but they would have gotten eventually because we would have had to plant them once they started to grow and get roots and all plants need sunlight. So the next thing I wanted to share with you is just the process of a, that a plant goes through to become a plant, it starts from a seed, then it begins to grow. You see a tiny little root, and then as the plant gets bigger over time, the roots become more and more complex. They get bigger, they get more branches, and this is what holds the plant in the ground, but also the roots are how the plant gets its nutrients. Nutrients for plants are like vitamins. So I wanted to share with you my green bean plants from my garden. We actually planted green bean seeds and they're growing great. These are not my green beans, but I hope this is what they will look like later on this summer. So it says, I planted green beans in my garden. This is what it looks like when the bean plant begins to grow. You can see the seed and the little plant just starting to emerge from the seed. So I put a few little labels here. You can see a seed here. You can see a seed here, but look, do you see the little plant emerging? So this outside part is called the seed coat. See my labels? The seed coat protects the inside of the seed. That's the food for the seed and the baby plant. Now the bean plant or seedling has grown even more. The outer covering or the seed coat of the seed has fallen off and you see the green plant. You can see a little bit of the seed coat right here. Sometimes it sticks on the plant and stays on there for quite a while. And then here's the little baby plant or the seedling starting to grow. Small leaves begin to grow, but they are still furled or curled up. You can see the inside of the seed attached to the plant. This was food for the seed as it was beginning to grow. So here are our leaves that are still furled, but this is the inside of the seed right here where it was getting its food from to grow. The plant is growing taller and the leaves are no longer curled up. Soon the food for the seedling or baby plant from the seed will drop off. Now the plant is growing roots under the soil and it will get its food through the roots. Each day the seedling grows taller. It will become a tall green tall bean plant. Eventually it will get blossoms. Blossoms are flowers that bloom on the bean plant. Then they will become the green beans. Now my plants have a long way to go before they get blossoms, but they have really sprouted up. You can even see a whole nother row of beans back here. So it's really cool to watch the progress that they make each day. So I will be sharing that with you. And let's go back to my cover of my book where it says my garden green beans. If you look on here, you can see green beans hanging on the plants. But do you see this little flower right here? This is the blossom that I'm talking about. So when my plants get bigger like this size, they'll get these flowers. And then where these flowers were, that's where the beans will grow. So I hope to get lots of flowers so we get lots of green beans. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this. Like I said, experiments don't always work, so I'm sorry our lima bean experiment did not work. However, 
here's a cool thing that I can share with you from my garden. Hope y'all have a great day.